we've all noticed stars twinkling in the night sky. This occurs naturally due to the starlight traveling through moving air. This video will focus on active optics, a set of technologies used in modern telescopes to minimize imperfections in an image due to atmospheric turbulence. Stars twinkling is due to the light traveling through moving air. Refraction occurs because there are slight variations in density and temperature between different pockets of moving air. Astronomers often refer to the seeing on a given evening by describing how much twinkling is occurring due to atmospheric effects and the present quality of observing. We can illustrate a related phenomenon with the apparatus shown here. We turn on the laser and aim it directly at a target placed on the wall. Note that our laser is intense, steady or rather focused. We also have a heating plate that we can turn on underneath the laser light. Let's explore this in a peer instruction question. What will happen to the laser when the heating plate warms up? A. Disappear as its photons will burn up. B. Get much brighter from the heat energy. C. Move off of the bullseye and dance around due to currents in the air. D. Not be changed in any noticeable way. Classroom students should follow normal procedures or instructor guidelines. Viewers not in the classroom should record your vote and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. Please pause this video and answer the question. It is now several minutes later and the hot plate is quite warm. Note that the laser spot is in a slightly different location. This is due to refraction as the light bends as it enters the warmer, lower density air. Note that the spot dances around as well. This is due to convection currents in the air carrying away heat energy from the hot plate. We can see something similar by taking a look at this fireplace. Notice how the quality of the image is distorted. This crudely illustrates how it is very important to minimize temperature differences between telescopes and the environment. We want a telescope to be at exactly the same temperature as the surrounding air to eliminate small convection currents carrying away any heat. Most modern large telescopes go farther employing active optics, actively shaping the telescope's mirror to minimize the negative effects on images due to temperature, wind, and mechanical stress on the mirror. The first fully active telescope was the European Southern Observatory's 3.5 meter New Technology Telescope which began operating in Chile in 1989. The temperature and airflow around its mirror are precisely controlled. The new technology telescope's thin mirror is actively shaped during observations by computer-controlled actuators that provide varying forces. The actuators get input from an image quality detector and keep the mirror in its optimal shape. All large telescopes make use of active optics today. A related technology is adaptive optics, deformations of the mirror over a much shorter time scale, which are used to minimize the effects of atmospheric turbulence. As you can see, a laser mounted on this telescope is exciting sodium atoms in the upper atmosphere, creating an artificial star. Adaptive optics then corrects for the effects of atmospheric turbulence on this artificial star and other objects in the field of view as well. Adaptive optics techniques are also very common in large telescopes today. More teaching materials can be found on the web at astro.unl.edu.